Barcelona and cool activities for teens. These are actual activities they won't, will not hate you for. This is James Whalen. I'm going to talk about sports, skate parks, and surfing. Okay, rub the surfing. It may not happen. Let's talk drinking. I'm serious. The first thing that I really recommend for adults, and I think teens are totally on board with this, is sports. It's basically just a way to break up the normal tourist routine and get a different kind of texture to your day. Um, what I would recommend doing is going to one of the municipal sports clubs. There's a municipal sports club in every neighborhood just about and they're open to day, they have day passes or visitor passes. Um, the, my favorite one, you will have to take a taxi to this place. You probably won't go there otherwise, but it is totally the bomb. It's completely worth it. It's an area, it's a place called Can Carayeo. Um, I've written the name down below. It's up in the hills above an area called Saria, up in the back of the city. Okay, now that seems like a long way to go, but keep this in mind. You get up there, it's an entire complex. It has a full-size football field, soccer field. It has tennis and paddle courts. It has two swimming pools that are open year-round. There's a place to eat. It's relaxed. It's open. It's up in the air with trees around it. I would totally go up there and just spend the day and let the kids just let, that, let their hair down and run. Can Carayeo above Saria. Um, but there's those kind of complexes all over the city. There's, there are municipal gyms down on the beach also. Uh, the next thing that I would keep in mind is just skate parks. Now your kids may not be into skating, or but the atmosphere uh, around the skate parks in Barcelona is very authentic. A little bit earthy, but very real and urban. The, the two big areas that I know of, the biggest one is near the Museum of Modern Art in the Raval. This is this huge white complex, big museum area, and right in front of it, the Museum of Modern Art, is a big plaza. And during the day and even in the evenings, it is a full of young people skating, laughing, listening to music. There is some public drinking that goes on there, um, but the area is very secure, it's very safe. What I like to do is to get something to eat and bring it and just sit there on the wall and, and hang out in the sun. It's not that common to get to-go food in Barcelona, but you can get something like a falafel, um, some kind of little rolled sandwich and bring it out there. This is in the Raval. Uh, the other skate park that's very, uh, I like to go and hang out is if you go to the Rambla of Pobleno, you have to see my video about that one. But at the bottom of the Rambla de Pobleno, on the near the beach, is a skate park. This is out, uh, out in the municipal beaches, several beaches out. Um, basically, you go out past the big hotels, past to the Burger King, and right past that, there's some ba there's a hill with sort of like bamboo grass growing on it, and the skate park is in that area. There's plenty of young people just hanging out. It's a very relaxed and safe atmosphere. Um, now there is surfing, um, but surfing is also pretty much limited to the fall in the afternoons. If you're here during that time, you can rent surfboards here. You can try to go do some surfing. It's not a huge part of the life here. Local people who are fanatics about it find a way to make it happen. I've been out there plenty of times and watched the surfers. Uh, I've never done it myself. People rent longboards and do that. But there is surfing in the fall. It's fairly limited. The reward for that, or the reward, the, the, on, on the other hand, well, something to keep in mind that might work as a sort of reward for your teenagers is the drinking age here is 18. Uh, now, I don't think I've ever heard of anybody ever being carded. And if your teenagers are there with you in a hotel, and in, a, in a restaurant, and you order something alcoholic, I don't think there's going to be any questions asked. And I think it might be a great idea. Let them try a glass of Spanish wine while they're here. It's memorable. Uh, this is James Whalen. I'm just running specific solutions, quirky fun. Um, there are the other, uh, there are the uh, there's more typical ideas that are um, take them out to Camp No, the big football soccer stadium. There's a, a museum there and there's a tour or go see a game. That's Camp No. It's easy enough. It's kind of a no-brainer. And then down south of the city, there is a big amusement park called Porta Adventura. I don't hugely recommend it just because I'm not that big into amusement parks, but I know some people really, really enjoy that. It's a little expensive. The food's a little expensive, um, but it's something that you could use to really break up your whole visitation while you're here. 
Let me know if you have any more questions or comments. I'm having a fantastic time just banging these out. I'm trying to give you everything I can think of to help you. I've been living here for about 15 years. And, you know, I'm not an expert in the dates and the history. I'm not a tour guide, but I know what I've seen. And that's what I'm just really trying to give it all to you folks. If you've got any more questions, I'll try to get back to you with something that might help you out. So send me a message. Grab the like button, sign up and subscribe, share it, tell your friends. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon with the next video that comes out any day now. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.